Hey YouTube, my name is Fen. Welcome to the Metal Foundry. In this week's video, I want to go a little bit more in depth and tell you a story about when I wanted to quit playing guitar, which happened like basically every year. So, hey, without further ado, let's dig in. Hell yeah! So I've played, I've started playing guitar in 2003 or in 2004 uh, when I got my first acoustic guitar that my parents bought for me and I started taking guitar lessons and so on. And I started taking guitar lessons in, at, at an open public music school. Uh, you didn't really have to read notes, you didn't really have to know theory. You learned theory while you were practicing guitar and you were learning to play songs immediately. So that's also what attracted me to follow guitar lessons at that school. Uh, also the guys at the guitar shop advised me to go see their guy was called Sonny, the teacher was Sonny, he's a very great guy and he showed me a lot of things, he learned me a lot of things and I'm entirely grateful for having met him. Um, so if you're watching this video Sonny, thank you very much man, you're doing an awful good job. So the first couple of years I was very motivated and I think it was also around 2007 that I started to learn more theoretical stuff like the modes, the Greek modes, like um, Ionian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Dorian and all those things and as part of those lessons I want to play songs, I learned to play songs and I wrote entire songs on my own even in one or two days completely instrumental tracks and they were not particularly awesome I thought they were at that time and when I listened back to them they were very creative but I was still making lots of mistakes and I think I was influenced by that time by Joe Satriani but only not only by him but also by two other great guys that I met online one is Bill Lonero and the other one is Billy Connelly Bill Lonero and Billy Connelly are two guitarists that I met on MySpace at that time and then Bill Lonero he had a guitar core project called Lonero and then one of my favorite songs was called Loose and then you had Billy Connelly and he also made a fantastic album that I also bought afterwards from him on CD Baby and I don't think it's online anymore, it used to be on, on Spotify for a while but hey, I'm digressing but when I look back at that time there is one common thread and that is that I didn't have enough patience and this happens to me in, in not only in my, my musical career but also my professional life and my personal life and so on and Whenever that's basically whenever I wanted to start something new, I wanted to be the best possible at that point as well. It's like I wanted to run before I could walk or crouch, and sometimes I'm still doing that. I'm still have I still have the tendency to wanting to move a bit too fast, and that's something that I'm working on constantly. It's also the same with my YouTube channel. I wanted to yeah start making videos and won't start cracking all of a sudden but it's just not realistic but that's also what's bugging me in a way that's also what's bothering me in a way and what's basically wanting to advance that quickly is what basically was holding me back i wanted to learn things very quickly and i didn't have the patience to take the time to learn new stuff and to to practice and to to do the same exercise over and over and over again until it became boring and I'm, I know for sure if I would have done the work, if I would have put in the groundwork, I would have been a much better guitar player today. And this also happens with my YouTube channel every once in a while. There have been, there have been weeks that I didn't feel like making a video uh, because life got in the way. There have been weeks that I didn't make a video at all because life got in the way. But there were also weeks that I didn't really want to make a video. I didn't have an idea and I still made a video because I, I want to move on. I want to hold on I want to hold on I want to be able to do this and to learn this and then as with as with guitar playing I want to continue doing this and stay strong and and don't get me wrong this is not a typical motivational video this is not where I will tell you that I found a magic solution or a magic trick the thing that made finally made everything click where I immediately learn new things no this is just me telling you to to have patience with yourself and to to hold on to, to be kind to yourself because there will always be critics especially on the internet but the biggest critic very often is yourself at least I know I am for me just be, be kind to yourself and be realistic and set goals that you can achieve instead of setting very big goals set smaller goals that are achievable and then don't always listen to that little voice inside your head because very often it's wrong it's good to be demanding every once in a while it's good to have ambition, it's good to be ambitious, 
but you also have to keep in mind that you're just human and we all make mistakes. And this is the advice that I wanted to give to the beginning musicians, to the guitarists that are just starting out, drummers, whatever, people are watching these videos. It's just, just to have patience and put in the work. Rome wasn't built in a day and I know it's a big cliche, but even when you're 34, <laughs> you still have to learn that thing. And I'm not, I'm not here to tell you about some magical music epiphany that I had and I'm the, the magic trick to become the best guitar player in 30 days or, or to sell you these magic guitar courses that you can see in the ads in, in between the videos that you're watching here. Because uh, in my... I think those are total scam and they sell you a dream that's just not realistic. I believe you can learn guitar on your own and you can learn guitar on your own by practicing a lot and by be diligent and, and learn the songs and take the time to learn new things. Let me know in the comment section what, what what's holding you back. What are your struggles when you'd want to learn a new instrument or want to learn something new in your life? Because this could be a nice topic to discuss. I think that's basically all for me this week. If you have questions or remarks, let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also commenting and so on, as I said before, this really helps the algorithm and then help my video go up and when people are watching and people are interacting, YouTube thinks that my videos are interesting and want to show them to other people that have never seen my videos before. And if you want to help me grow my channel, that's awesome as well. You can just click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video, which will be normally every single week. My name is Sven, you've been watching The Metal Foundry, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye. <laughs>